All right, welcome back to the channel. We're gonna be doing some fun experimentation using Google's Gemini 2.5, and we're gonna specifically subscribe to the advanced pro version. So we're inside Gemini right now. I haven't used it a whole lot, but I'm going to be using it more and more because in my testing, it creates and produces a lot of great results. They're getting 500 million visitors to their site, Gemini.Google dot com versus about a hundred million. So it's five times more the amount that like Claude is getting. So I want to give this a little bit more attention because it has some really cool features and so forth. They're backed by a lot more money and so forth. So they can move a lot faster. So if you're not subscribed to the channel and you want some fun large language model AI testing where I've been using Claude for the last couple of years of my business, that's been my go-to tool. I am going to be trying to do a lot of the things I've done in Claude and use Gemini and see what kind of results I get. When I create this content weeks from now, I'll be able to come back and say, hey, you know what? I'm actually starting to like this one better. So when you're inside of Gemini, you're going to click over here, try advanced. This is the advanced version. You're going to get all this stuff right over here. So you get, it's just $0 for a month and then $19.99 after that. Google is smart. They're not charging more than, and they're giving away a ton. This is the same price that it cost for Claude Pro and ChatGPT Plus. Those are all $19.99 per month as well. This one is right at the same exact, but they are giving you a lot. Create high quality videos with VO2, unlock expanded access to Gemini features, including deep research, understanding large books, and reports of 1,500 pages of the file that you upload. We can analyze massive documents using the most capable AI models. You get everything better than using free, right? If you're willing to pay for it, you should get better stuff than people that are on the free versions. And then also included in this is very important. You get the Google One subscription, new Whisk Animate with VO2. So those are things I'm gonna have to make an individual videos about the animation and the videos and so forth. But Gemini in Gmail, Docs and more, I'm excited to use that because I have been using the free version. It will be nice to be able to use Pro and not be limited by any means to be able to reply to people in Gmail. So that'll be great. And then Notebook LM Plus, I'm excited for that, what that entails taking Notebook LM to another level. They already give so much away in the free version, but I'm excited to use that and see what that can do for us as well. And then two terabytes of storage. So I already pay for one of these where I just pay for the Google One. I pay for the upgrade storage for Google Drive, but you also get that storage. And I'll tell you right now, just even that price alone to get two terabytes of cloud storage is already a really good price. So just take one of these and it's probably worth the $20 and then other Google One premium benefits. So really, really cool. I'm gonna push that upgrade button and we'll be right back. Okay, perfect. So it says I am subscribed, yippee. So we get all access to all this and go to Gemini Advanced. I'm gonna go ahead and click on that. And now here we are. They do have a theme. We can go with the light theme right over here. And then there's also the dark theme. I'm gonna go with light theme for now. And then we can go up here to Gemini Advanced and we have the flash. We have all these different versions that we can use. I'm gonna go ahead and use get in-depth research and reports. So we're gonna try this one out right here. It's their most advanced deep research model right here. And it's already automatically going to select deep research. But now what I wanna do is I've already to speed up this part of the video, I've come up with a prompt and it's right here. So I say my website is ketocrush.com. It's one of my niche websites. I found a competitor here at perfectketo.com. So essentially how I found that is there's a lot of different other ways and tools and SEO tools. We can find similar websites and so forth. But basically I'll type in a long tail keyword like keto diet for beginners. And I'll go to like page three or page four and try to find a website that is not quite like, you know, getting millions of visitors per month. That's a major brand or something like that. I'm not gonna use those. I'm gonna use what looks like a brand and a blog. And this one was getting about 200,000 visitors per month. So it's right at that sweet spot where I would like. Uh, and it's talking about only keto stuff, right? So it's not a massive college website or government type organization type website. And so that's where I kind of came up with that. I selected one right here and I selected the blog. And then I said, focusing on, so 
now we've provided my website and we've provided a competitor's website, okay? And we're in the keto niche. So then now I said focusing only on blog content, specifically informational content, because I want stuff that AI can write and analyze very quickly and do a lot better with research. Recipes and products and so forth, those aren't gonna do well for this because we want to be able to create those from scratch and be unique and so forth, right? And so we want content, this to be a content blogging type strategy. And so I said, we want it to specifically be informational content and tip type articles, compare the two websites and come up with a content plan for my blog that would cover topics that perfectketo.com has covered that my blog, that my blog has not. The content needs to be ideas that Keto Crush could easily rank for as the content on perfectketo.com was not optimized for. You will investigate both websites and tell me what I need to write and add to Keto crush.com to grow the website. Very specifically, believe in the creative investigation type research to Gemini. We're going to go ahead and see what this tool can do for us. This is something that even in ChatGBT it struggles with. Sometimes it does good with links, sometimes it doesn't. When we go over to Claude AI, even though it says that it can go to other websites and get information, it really is not, and my testing has not done a really good job with that. And so that's why I'm kind of more excited to start trying to use Gemini for this advanced type stuff because it's very good at scraping content, doing deep, deep research and so forth, putting it all into the perfect context, if you will, following instructions and then coming up with the results for you. So here's what we've got. I actually like this about Google Gemini. The research method is that instead of it going out and doing all this research, it's actually going to kind of give you a, just a, here's what I'm thinking that you said and what I, what I plan to do. Is this okay before we actually start the deep research? I like that little pause to just ask, hey, are we on the right track before we can you know, continue or we can edit the plan right here? So it says keto blog, it's basically already recognized that we're trying to do a content gap analysis, right? We really are trying to see what we can do between the two sites. We already know that Perfect Keto, our competitor blog, has a ton of content on it and it's getting a ton of visitors and my site is new, not really getting a whole lot of traction. And so it's recognizing that. So research sites, browse the blog section, and then identify the main themes and specific topics covered in informational and tip articles. Browse the blog section of, so it's specifically looking at the blog section to identify the main themes and specific topics covered in informational and tip articles. So now we have both, right? And then it's going to compare the list of topics from both to identify information and tip subjects present on perfectketo.com blog, but absent from Keto Crush. And then step four, for each identified topic gap, analyze the corresponding articles on perfectketo.com to evaluate their potential search engine optimization weaknesses, content depth, keyword focus, synthesize a list of specific article ideas, titles, and detailed topics for Keto Crush based on the identified gaps for content appears poorly optimized or lacks depth presenting a ranking opportunity. And then briefly outline the key points or angles each suggested article for ketocrush.com should cover to be comprehensive. Analyze the results. It's going to create a report for us ready in a few minutes. This is going to be, we're, it's like we're hiring an investigative reporter that's going to go out and do all this research, saving us hours and hours and hours of time. We could edit this. We can also go like this. This was a great response. I'm going to go ahead and push that button there. And then I'm going to say start research. And now Google Gemini Advanced Deep Research with 2.5 Pro is going to go out there and start with this game plan. And we will be back in just a minute. So right here, you can see it's thinking, it's already out there working. Initial blog comparison, I've started looking at both the Keto Crush and Perfect website, Perfect Keto websites to understand the type of blog content they offer. I'm focusing on informational articles and tips that could be helpful. Next steps, deeper analysis. My next step is to dig deeper into the specific articles on both blogs. And then we're going to, so it's identified both websites. It's very, very good at that part. And now it's going out there and actually just doing its work for us. And I like how it talks to you like you're a person and they're a person. It says, I plan to look at their content structure, how well they address specific keywords, their freshness, and whether they offer a unique perspective. This will help me identify potential weaknesses in their content that Keto Crush could capitalize on. So it literally is talking like from an I first person standpoint, like Google Gemini is a person, which is actually kind of funny. It's just AI, but that part's kind of silly. 
Okay, so it's kind of sits there for a minute and then now it's still, it's in thinking mode, right? You can actually turn that off, but I like seeing the progress and the process that the AI is going through. More perfect, perfect keto topics. I've looked at more perfect keto blog content and found articles discussing carb cravings, the benefits of bone broth and how the keto diet can impact productivity and mental performance. This gives me a broader view of the informational topics they covered. It's analyzing a bunch of the content on the website, which is nuts. And then it's going to continue to analyze these additional articles from Perfect Keto to see if the patterns I've observed earlier regarding their content depth and optimization hold true across different subjects. This will help me refine the content plan for Keto Crush. So we're doing all this to basically have AI give us a content plan that we can actually go out there and maybe use Google Gemini to create articles for us or use our favorite AI writer. We'll be back in just a minute. While it's continuing this, I'm just going to update you. Any of you that are interested in paying for Google Gemini Pro, it's not like I'm an affiliate. They don't have an affiliate program or anything like that, but I just wanted to give you some insight because I'm already paying for a Google Drive subscription. And I believe that's like $15 a month or something like that. And so I'm using the same email I signed up for Google Gemini and basically I just checked my email and it gave me like a $4 refund. And what that is, is it's just basically reimbursing me or prorating it. And I believe that it's combining the two, recognizing that they're both the same. I'm paying $20. So it's almost like if you were paying for the 12 or $13 a month for the two terabyte cloud storage, which I was, it's like you're paying the difference. You're paying $8 more per month and they're going to give you all of the stuff. They're going to give you the cloud storage. They're going to give you the advanced Gemini a Pro. They're going to give you the Notebook LM a Pro, all those things for just 20 under that one umbrella. So that's really, really cool. Right now it's on the report phase right here. I believe it's just still running. It's still added 10 different URLs so far in its research. We don't need to do anything else. It's actually still running. It says the next steps for the content strategy. It's going to use all this research and information. The next step is to synthesize all of these findings into a cohesive report that outlines the specific content opportunities for Keto Crush, focusing on areas where perfect Keto's content appears less optimized, right? There might be a better way from an SEO standpoint to actually prompt the tool to get you better results. In this case, I wanted to look at opportunities that they have written about because we know that they've covered the topic probably in full, but are there any that we could look at and say, hey, it's, it's less optimized optimized for this word, you could write an article that's similar, but maybe we go after this keyword and optimize it. Or maybe they just recognize that there's some that did not, that were not analyzed or not optimized. So now we're going to look at keto blog content analysis, export to docs. We can export this whole report. You can actually use this in your job, maybe run this kind of analysis once you perfect this type of thing. And you could run this as a service to other websites, local websites, and so forth. What we have is an executive summary. It tells you what this report was for, SEO weaknesses and perfect keto's articles, so forth right there. Key findings, Keto Crush currently organizes its content around broad ketogenic themes. It needs to maybe be very specific and maybe we could get some traction, right? So that's really cool that they're identifying this for us. However, it lacks the depth and specificity found in Perfect Keto's blog, which frequently targets distinct user problems and advanced keto topics. Awesome. So it's already identified a big thing that we need to fix on our blog and like a plan moving forward. And look at this. There's the two sites that are analyzed. Perfect Keto, while producing generally high quality and comprehensive content, exhibits identifiable opportunities for improvement across several key informational Articles. Analysis reveals potential weaknesses related to the breadth of keyword targeting, particularly long tail variations. This is exactly what I was trying to get at, right? And then these identified weaknesses present significant opportunities. These present significant opportunities for Keto Crush by strategically creating content that addresses similar topics but improves upon Perfect Keto's execution, specifically regarding keyword strategy, depth, structure, and unique value proposition, Keto Crush can compete effectively for organic rankings. Really cool. So the core recommendation is to recommended that Keto Crush implement the proposed content plan outlined in section four 
boom, comparative content landscape. So it did all this stuff for us. You can see it analyzed a ton. There's content gap analysis, comparing the content structures, specificity gap, proactive and foundational content. And then we can come through here. So table one, content gap opportunity. So it has a table, SEO opportunity, high, medium, medium, high. So you can look at these ones that are high, right? So weight loss, troubleshooting, 10 ways to speed up weight loss, 11 factors hindering weight loss corresponding keto crush category, keto and health. So it identified all of our categories on our website, which is this nuts gap identified. Yes, a partial gap right there. So this is what it kind of is going to look like. I'm sure it's way more in depth once we download the report. This table only highlights that significant gaps exist, not just in topic coverage, but in depth and specificity of content addressing common keto. I'm trying not to read this whole thing to you, but this is very, very interesting content keyword focus. It does this entire thing for us. I'm going to keep going. Number four, the actionable content plan for Keto Crush right here. Growth. We are going to the core strategy for Keto Crush is to move beyond foundational content and create highly specific actionable articles that address the identifying content gaps specificity and problem solving. Crucially, each piece should be designed to explicitly improve upon Perfect Keto's existing content by targeting their identified weaknesses and then content structure, visuals, uniqueness for similar high value topics. So we have our detailed article recommendations. Recommendation one, priority is high. This is a breaking through your keto weight loss stall 15 advanced tactics beyond the basics. So we have our target audience right here and then the key angle right here, deeper keyword focus right here. And so it even gave us a suggested keywords, keto weight loss stall, keto plateau. It identified a ton of stuff that even a keyword research tool like Ahrefs is not gonna be able to put this level of advanced research and gap analysis, competitor analysis, and put this whole content game plan together for us. Now I'm gonna take this content, so we have a content recommendation one and then we two right here the ultimate guide to keto carb cravings we could promote and do all kinds of pins and try to get traffic on pinterest for we could also potentially rank on google for keywords and so forth it gives us our nlp lsi keywords right here and the content format notes comprehensive guide structure solutions so we can go and do a bunch of different things right here i'm super impressed with this level of analysis that it was actually able to go out there and use urls fully re research the websites and come up with this amazing content plan for us. What do you guys think? Is your mind blown? This is scary that AI can do this level of research and so forth. So we have three, I'm just going to keep coming down here. It gave us, let's see. So we have recommendation five, and then we have a table of the one, two, three, four, five. So we have five right over here because we did have some medium priority levels, that's fine. This table serves as an actionable roadmap, prioritizing content creation efforts and highlighting the specific st strategic angle needed to outperform the competitor for each topic. Now, concluding recommendations, recap of the strategy, execution, long-term view. It's recommended that Keto Crush periodically reevaluate this and run this report and prompt again. So make sure to save your prompts and it's giving a final encouragement. So it gives a very professional, like an expert just went and analyzed both of this and spent like a week on this. And then here we go. So what we could do at this point and look at all the sources and so forth. So what we could do is now is we could come back over here and say, give me five more, give me five more, or give me the next 30 using this content structure. So we have the base and we have five articles, you want to make sure to subscribe because I'm actually going to go and use this and come up with a really good prompt, probably use some of my prompt engineering that I put in Claude and some of my projects, bring that into Google, Gemini, and actually, if this product can create a content analysis gap expertly crafted report for us, then I got to imagine that it's going to be able to create really good content for us as well. So let's just see if we can actually rank something on this site using nothing but Google Gemini. So make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on the updates on this project. Very eye-opening. I mean, AI's been out, these large language models for a couple of years now, but this is truly 
impressive what this can do. And also make sure to subscribe because I'm going to be able to, now that I have the full suite and I'm paying for it, I'll be able to create a lot of content and do a lot of tutorials and testing on Notebook LM you know, Pro use and, and a lot of the Google models for video creation, image creation, content creation, all kinds of good stuff. So thanks for joining me. I just wanted to, I'm just uh, going to have some fun with AI and these large language models. So join me and I'll see you in the next video.